This is the first time something like that is observed, where there is a glow ahead of the object towards the sun. And now, as it approached uh, closer to the sun, uh, there seemed to be some uh, teardrop shape. Astronomers thought they were tracking just another comet. But what swept through our skies as 3i Atlas was anything but ordinary. It bent the rules of physics, shifted course in ways no natural object should, and carried a chemical signature that left scientists stunned. Then came the most terrifying twist, its final transmission. A signal so deliberate and precise that experts are calling it a direct warning to humanity. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku has gone on record, describing Atlas as godlike in power and urging the world to pay attention. Because this wasn't a random visitor, it was a messenger, and its warning could change everything. Message in the Debris For most of its journey, the object known as 3i Atlas acted just as astronomers predicted. It was a faint blip on a telescope screen, a ghost from another star system passing through our own. Many people are crazy about these interstellar visitors, they're incredibly rare. This was only the third one we'd ever confirmed. Scientists at top observatories from Hawaii to Chile tracked its every move. They calculated its speed at an astonishing 100,000 miles per hour, a velocity so immense it could only have come from the vast emptiness between the stars. Its trajectory was plotted, its composition was analyzed, and for a while, everything seemed normal. It was a chunk of ice and rock, maybe the size of a small town, taking a tour of our sun's neighborhood before being flung back out into the void. But not all things are what they seem. As 3i Atlas rounded the sun and began its long journey back into interstellar space, something unprecedented happened. The thing nobody tells you is that objects in space follow very, very strict rules. Gravity is the law, and nothing breaks it. A comet can't just decide to speed up or change course on its own. Yet that's exactly what 3i Atlas did. It exhibited what scientists call non-gravitational acceleration. In simple terms, it was being pushed by an unseen force. The official explanation was that pockets of ice on its surface were turning to gas and firing off like tiny rocket thrusters. A plausible, if convenient, explanation. But here's where the story takes a dark turn. That explanation fell apart when 3i Atlas sent its final terrifying message. It didn't use radio waves or light signals. Its transmission was far more dramatic, far more final. It self-destructed. The object began to fracture, breaking into dozens, then hundreds of pieces. Within weeks, the once mighty interstellar traveler was reduced to a cloud of glittering dust and debris. The official story is that the sun's immense heat and gravity simply tore it apart, a cosmic iceberg melting on a hot day but a growing number of astronomers and physicists aren't buying it. The timing was too perfect, the event too clean. The disintegration wasn't a chaotic, natural event. Some say it looked almost controlled. This is the core of the warning. What if the object's demise wasn't an accident? What if it was a deliberate act? Think about it. An object of unknown origin, moving in impossible ways, travels hundreds of billions of miles to our solar system, only to break apart in a very specific, observable way as it leaves. This wasn't a death, it was a statement, a message encoded in destruction. The wow factor here is off the charts. It's like a ship scuttling itself after delivering a secret message to shore. The debris cloud is the message, a cosmic calling card that says, we were here, we see you. And the most chilling part of that message is the implication that if they can send one, they can send more. And the next one might not just be a messenger. The next visitor might be coming for a different reason. A history of visitors. The chilling warning from 3i Atlas becomes even more terrifying when you realize one crucial detail. It wasn't the first. This wasn't an isolated incident. We've been visited before, and each time, the mystery has only deepened. To understand the gravity of the situation, we have to go back a few years to the very first interstellar object ever detected, Oumuamua. That name is Hawaiian for scout, and it could not have been more appropriate. When Oumuamua was discovered, it instantly baffled scientists. It was shaped like a cigar, hundreds of feet long but incredibly thin. 
nothing like it had ever been seen. It was dark, reddish, and tumbling end over end. Most bizarrely, just like 3i Atlas, it was accelerating away from the sun faster than gravity alone could explain. The official explanation was, once again, outgassing. But here's the kicker. Astronomers looked for the telltale cloud of gas and debris that should have been there. They found nothing. Not a trace. Oumuamua was moving as if it had engines, but with no exhaust. This led one of the top astronomers at Harvard to make a bold, controversial claim. Oumuamua might be an artifact, a piece of alien technology, perhaps a solar sail or a probe, sent to scout our system. He was ridiculed by many, but the data was undeniable. The object was weird. It didn't behave like a comet or an asteroid. It behaved like something engineered. The wow factor is that its shape, a 1 to 10 ratio of width to length, is the optimal design for an interstellar spacecraft to minimize damage from dust and gas. Then came the second visitor, 2i Borisov. At first, Borisov seemed to be the opposite of Oumuamua. It was a more conventional comet, with a visible tail of gas and dust. Many in the scientific community breathed a sigh of relief. See? Oumuamua was just a fluke, a one-in-a-million weirdo. Borisov proved that interstellar objects were just normal comets from other star systems. But the thing nobody tells you is that Borisov had its own secrets. Analysis of its composition showed it was pristine, almost perfectly preserved. It seemed to have formed in an extremely cold, dark environment, far from any star. Even more strangely, it contained unusually high amounts of carbon monoxide, a composition unlike anything found in our own solar system. So now, let's connect the dots. First, we get a scout, Oumuamua, a bizarre object that looks and moves like a probe. Then, we get Borisov, a more conventional-looking comet, but with a strange, alien composition. And finally, we get 3i Atlas, an object that seems normal at first, but then moves impossibly and sends a cryptic message by self-destructing. Do you see the pattern? It's not random. Many people are crazy about the idea of a deliberate sequence of events. It feels like a progression. First, a silent flyby. Then, a closer look with a more familiar object. And finally, a loud, undeniable statement. It's as if someone, or something, is slowly revealing its presence, gauging our reaction at each step. They are testing the waters before they make their presence known. A message for mankind. The chilling sequence of interstellar visitors suggests a pattern too deliberate to ignore. So, what if this is all a test? This is a concept that scientists and thinkers have talked about for decades, known as the Great Filter, the idea that somewhere between the dawn of life and the ability to colonize the stars, there is a barrier, a filter that very few if any civilizations manage to pass. This filter could be anything, nuclear war, climate change, or a cosmic event. But here's where it gets really interesting. What if the filter isn't an accident? What if the filter is a deliberate test administered by a far older, superior intelligence? What if 3i Atlas and its predecessors are part of that very test? Think about it from their perspective. An advanced civilization wouldn't announce its presence by landing a giant spaceship on the White House lawn. That would cause panic and chaos. They would be far more subtle. They would want to know if we are ready for contact. Are we intelligent enough to see them? Are we mature enough not to destroy ourselves with their knowledge? So, they send a series of puzzles, each one a little harder than the last. First, Oumuamua, a bizarre object that screams artificial, but offers just enough plausible deniability for mainstream science to dismiss it. They watch to see if we notice, if we argue, if we investigate. Then, they send 3i Atlas. This time, the puzzle is more direct. The object moves in a way that defies simple explanation, and then it shatters. The message is clear. What you are seeing is not natural. This was intentional. The destruction is a form of communication. For an advanced race, physics is their language. By manipulating gravity and energy in observable ways, they are speaking to us. 
The disintegration of 3i Atlas could be a demonstration of technology so advanced it looks like magic to us. It could be a warning about the fragility of existence, or it could be a key. Perhaps the way it broke apart, the trajectory of its debris contains information, a map, a mathematical equation, a message. The wow factor here is mind-bending. The test might be to see if we can decode the message hidden in the debris. Maybe the real trial isn't about finding the object, but about understanding what its final transmission truly means. This is the ultimate intelligence test. It's not about our technology. It's about our curiosity, our unity, and our ability to think beyond our terrestrial squabbles. The thing nobody tells you is that humanity is at a crossroads. We are developing artificial intelligence, exploring quantum mechanics, and reaching for the stars. We are on the cusp of becoming a truly advanced civilization. Maybe that's why the messages are coming now. They are checking in on our progress. They are deciding if we are worthy of joining the Galactic Club, or if we are destined to fail the test and become just another silent, dead world. But what if the truth is even stranger and more personal? A mirror to ourselves. So. Let's bring this all back down to Earth for a moment. It's easy to get lost in grand theories about galactic tests and alien probes. The reality is, right now, all we have are strange data points and a lot of unanswered questions. But this is where you have to wonder, are we missing the key details? Is this whole thing happening overnight, or have we been blind to it for centuries? The thing is, the mystery of 3i Atlas isn't just about what's happening out there in space. It's about what's happening down here, in our own minds. This event, whether it's natural or artificial, holds up a mirror to humanity. It forces us to confront our biggest fears and our deepest hopes. For the average person, life goes on. We worry about bills, about our jobs, about the future of our families. The idea of a rock in space breaking apart feels distant, academic. But what if it's the most important event in human history? The warning of 3i Atlas might not be an external threat. The warning might be about us. Think about how we reacted. The scientific community was divided. Some clung to safe, conventional explanations, afraid to consider the alternatives. Others were ridiculed for even suggesting something extraordinary was happening. Governments were silent. There was no global announcement, no unified effort to understand what was happening. We saw something impossible, and our collective reaction was to argue and pretend it wasn't real. Maybe that's the real test. Maybe the visitors already know everything about our technology. What they're trying to figure out is our character. Are we a species that can come together in the face of the unknown, or do we fracture and fall apart? The final transmission of 3i Atlas wasn't a warning about an alien invasion. It was a reflection of our own limitations. The message was, you are not ready. You are too divided, too fearful, too arrogant in your certainty. You look at the universe and see only what you expect to see. This is the uncomfortable truth. The most terrifying discovery isn't that we're being watched by aliens. It's that we've been watched all along, and we are only now smart enough to notice, but we might be too dysfunctional to do anything about it. The final message of 3i Atlas is a question, posed to every single one of us. When faced with a profound, world-altering mystery, will you seek the truth no matter how uncomfortable? Or will you turn away, back to the safety of your old beliefs? The answer to that question will determine our future. It will decide whether we pass the test or become another silent voice in the great cosmic darkness. So, what do you think? Was 3i Atlas a natural comet? Or was it a deliberate message from an intelligence beyond our own? Let us know your theories in the comments below. Like this video if it made you think, and subscribe for more answers to the universe's greatest mysteries.